Welcome back to Blackacre Ranch. We are here on another Saturday. It's beautiful, overcast, kind of chilly. And we're gonna to start today where we ended last time with mowing. I didn't get to see it because it got too dark. So Jeff is gonna finish this one little strip of the pasture that he was working on, and then we'll get going on the rest of our day. So let's see what he's up to on the big green tractor. So this is where you can really see um, where we were standing and kind of measuring out posts and whatnot last week. Like this is really cut down. down almost to the corner of this new two acre parcel just because you couldn't really see as he went around and came out of these this back area I wanted to show you how nice it looks back here really quick all right so now you can kind of see there's the main building 
here's where he would come up behind and pop through. So it looks really nice back here now. So one of the fun parts about mowing is cleaning up the mower because it sure gets covered. This has been one handy old broom we found at the property here. Perfect for this. Getting stuck in these crevices. And all this grass holds moisture, so I want to get it off. And then you bring it lower and blow it off. We've been cleaning it off up on the um, pavilion. However, I'm glad we're doing it out here because I'm not if all this stuff doesn't end up collecting up on the pavilion. Our gates, they're so beautiful, but we need the trailer. Time to unload them. So Jeff's got the forks on the tractor now, and it's time to vacate the trailer. I don't know the plan, so we're about to find out what he's gonna do. All right, so the trailer is backed up, and so when he's bumping into it, it's hitting our truck. So we're going to pull the truck out of the way so we stop jamming it against the bumper. against the swing set, but we'll find out. I don't know. All right, and that should be a lot easier to pick those up next time you need to move those gates. We've got a lot of peeing going on. 
Now, the reason we're at Steve's then mouse? Yeah. is we had some equipment dropped off so we didn't have to drive all the way into Henderson to pick it up. So, these are our new toys for the day. We're going to strap this guy down to the pallet. Good job, baby. So, we've got this new grapple. Root rake grapple. There you go. That's going to really help us on some of these projects we need to get done. Good tool. And then over here, our other fun new toy is an auger, but it's not just an auger. It's a front loader auger. So it attaches on the front loader so we can have more just straight downward pressure with it. So that will be super useful in just a week or so here, maybe two, when we're ready to start drilling holes for those new posts that we're going to pick up next week. And this one's probably going to help us with our deforestation project. And the little people found a dead mouse. Its eye popped out. Its eye popped out. Right. Little field mouse. Lorna, its eye popped out. Just <laughs> over it. Probably. That's maybe how it died. As you guys saw last week, mm, Stop itchy, itchy, scratch, scratch. Wow. You're so weird. All right. <laughs> You're so weird. So if you guys remember from last week, um, we were talking about the uh, new handling facility that we're kind of putting in and, and, and really kind of just nuts and bolts of it, build a smaller containment area, which will in the future hold all the handling facility. The grapple was supposed to be used today. Here's my problem. I have a Euro attachment on the John Deere. They have their own special attachment. This and this is not for a Euro. I don't know what it is. I think it's probably for a skid steer or something else like this. You know, some quick attach, but it's it's not for the John Deere. So we're gonna have to swap that out. Um, so I'll get a different one of these with a correct attachment. Otherwise, I would have been using this today. We would have shown you some video, but I've got to delay my excitement for another week. Chica, Chica, what's wrong? Well, I'm walking through grasses and I get stabbed a million times by these wonderful little. Just now? Yeah. What grasses were you walking in? Apparently sticker grasses. Are they just right here? Well, no, they were all the way up my pants. I everything. mean, like, where's the grass you're walking in? Um, around by the building and the swing set and everywhere. Stuff's like serious. I'm sorry, Chinka. Oh, I'll be okay. Oh, such a big girl. She's like, you've never been this nice to me, Mom. Pretty much. All right. One fell off and broke her leg. <laughs> of our awesome progress. They've taken a couple of more trees out today um, without us here watching. So we're gonna keep going to that last T-post, make sure it's all cleared and turn and work the rest of the line.
this nasty thorn. Nasties. Whew. And it goes all the way. It's the sky, baby. Up into there. And she's going to pull it out. Yeah, let's see. Where's mommy's calling? Oh, mommy's calling. Oh, that's really it's really pretty. It's on my hip. Okay, go help her, pumpkin. Uh, I don't think she's any much help. Can you get above my hands when I pull down? Okay, one. And grab and pull. Oh. Get out of the tree, stupid, sticky guys. Hey, dog. <laughs> Let me borrow your gloves. I feel like you should just cut this out. Yeah, the thorns go away if you get high enough. Yeah, quite so. Good luck coming back on. You gotta go down. Oh no! Fall! Oh, I just messed up there. You wanna look? I saw! This is big fat mess. You can't cut this through. It's a whole nest small sitting there. Okay, you want Nathan and I to try? Yeah. It's, it's stuck right now, but not cool. I need some gloves, dude. Oh my goodness. Come on, boys. I'll go over there to stand behind you. Do it. You can do All it. All you guys are weight. Oh, it's like the whole yeah, canopy yeah, wants to come. Down. So close. I had to have a couple over 200 or so. Oh, oh that's oh, big. You do not want to get that. Man, that is a nasty little ball of fur. Alright, we're going to go and examine the ball of fur. Alright, here it is. Hey, Nathan, want to move it around a little bit? Not really. You're like, I don't want to touch it. It is a massive ball. That's darn crazy. There's actually not really. How big is this going to be that much? It's like crazy what it turns into. Oh wow, another thing that happened. There you go, from an adult sized person to the mass that was up in that tree. Woo. We actually have gone, and we're actually in this pasture area, and this last little line, we didn't actually have to cut anything out to actually get the fence. Now, we're gonna come back and we're gonna widen all these lines, and we're gonna try and make more room for the tractor. This is the line that we were doing, and the T post is right about where my finger is. So we're gonna try and clear more stuff out of here and we're just gonna mainly get these saplings. And then come back with like the grapple or some other attachment and start uprooting stuff. So right now it's just gonna get all these other little guys and try and widen this out and make this a little bit more habitable while we can. Since we don't have a grapple right now, we can't start getting roots out. So just gonna start hacking away. That's uh, <laughs> not good. <laughs> Someone's gonna die in that. Before you cut that one down. Right? Yeah, Woo! That right there. That's a problem. We're just gonna clean out these little guys all up in here. 
and then these guys, we're going to start going that way. So we've been doing this, has been getting thinner and thinner actually inside the canopy, which is normal. Um, we're going to have to come back and do a lot of grapple work or hoe bucket something. Um, just kind of scoop up some of these stumps. So anyway, we're going to keep going. How you doing, bud? Good. What you doing? Picking out all these saplings and putting them in that giant pile yep. behind me. Getting them all. There's a little bit more right there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Is it stuck? Yeah. Need some help? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's take these five. So nice. I'm not Thanks. tripping over things. You're welcome. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Look at our hard workers. Look at their mountain they're building. Mountain of crap. Wow, it's looking really clear down here. So this is how far we made it. Here's that tea post we've been working towards all day from that direction. And then we came back from that direction. I think we've made a lot of progress actually. So little Tika. Anyway, we made a lot of progress today. You can see from the photos. Um, we've been getting rid of a lot of the cedars and uh, a lot of the stuff that had vines growing on it. Yeah. So, so many vines. There's a couple trees that I'm nervous about taking out, so I'm going to leave it for now. But, you know, the sheer number of these little stumps, I'm not sure how that root grapple is going to go. Um, we'll see how it does digging some of these out, but I'm wondering if it would just be better to do a mini excavator and just dig, dig, grab the root ball and move. And it might allow better positioning, orientation, whatever, in the tight quarters. So. We appreciate you joining along with us. As always, pound that like and so forth button. YouTube seems to like that. And uh, we'll catch you next week. Anything else, guys? No? Nice scars, girlfriend. Thanks. I know, right? Like... All right, see you guys. Catch.